Hi everybody, I hope that you're all doing well. We are here with a general reading. Before we get started, let's set the intention for this to be a space where everyone allows themselves to feel seen and validated and ultimately for this to be a safe space and a healing space in alignment with everyone's highest good. All right, I'm seeing you ambitiously going after what you want. It looks like you're going to obtain this. You may need to make a quick decision or do something quickly. Like I'm getting a rapid energy definitely with this. It's like a seize the day sort of moment. You going after something that you see as being like valuable or important to you. All right, I'm feeling a switch up with the energy. I'm also seeing temperance though, which is interesting. Maybe like picking and choosing your speed and knowing to acclimate it for the situation. It's like not a one speed fits all. Somebody's Somebody's reaching out to you. Somebody's going to reach out to you. Somebody wants to reach out to you. It looks like they're under the impression that you want this too. They want to start something with you. Okay. The way that I'm seeing this, so Knight of Cups is somebody reaching out to you. They want to connect with you. They're trying to talk to you. This is what they want very much. I'm seeing this cup being added, which would make for an ideal situation. So somebody may think that by them coming through, it's going to be like mutually ideal for both of you guys. Like this is somebody where they're like, I'm going to reach out. This is what I want to do. I'm seeing the page of wands on the bottom of the deck. So this is somebody that's trying to start something with you. They want to like work together with you or do a project or hang out with you or they want to like start a connection with you, a relationship, something like that. They're interested in you emotionally and also from a wands perspective. So this is like somebody that feels wands are like attraction and what motivates us, stuff like this. So this is somebody that's like feeling, feeling inspired, motivated and attracted to connect with you. Something different maybe about this offer. Maybe something that, yeah, it's different or it stands out to you or like something has changed. This is an interesting dynamic here playing out. Now we have the lovers. So somebody's reaching out to you and they're like, hey, I'm reaching out to connect with you. I want to be connected with you. Like I want to share how I'm feeling or I want to communicate something. Cups are usually something more like in touch with one's emotions or what they're sensing, like something coming from the heart space for the most part, somebody wanting to share wanting to connect like in a vulnerable way and the lovers is like I'm trying to be with you like that okay so I'm it seems like this person is just cutting to the chase like they want to connect with you I am seeing the high priestess on the bottom of the deck I don't know what that's about yet I want to wait and see 
You could have had a feeling about this. For some of you, you could have seen this coming as well. I do get the sense of this person being direct with you. I also see the lover's card in general. Like, why I see it being different than the Two of Cups because I see the Two of Cups as being, like, for the most part, two people mutually being like, there's something here. Um, but in a more established way where there's, like, a sense of familiarity, I think that the lovers can turn into the Two of Cups, but I see the Two of Cups as being, like, more advanced in a way. And so the way that I see the lovers is, like, there's some sort of chemistry between you and someone or at least one person is feeling that we have to like see how the rest of the cards come out but this is somebody that's like oh i'm intrigued by this person i want to connect with them i don't really know why we're brought together i get that in the faces on this card particularly like they look kind of confused and it's like some higher being has sort of like brought these people together, but both of them are like, what are we doing here? Like what's happening? So I see this as being a moment of you kind of find yourself face to face with another person and you're like trying to figure out like what's actually going on here, what's supposed to happen. At least one party is feeling a bit anxious or a little bit in their head about this. Normal stuff, it seems. Eight of Wands would show things moving quickly. Maybe more quickly than anticipated. But let's see. Because it's going somewhere. You and this person. Okay. Whatever it is that you're trying to find out, you're going to find out. This is leading to a new chapter. We have the Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords is a moment where things can become clear. It's like a breakthrough. It can be an epiphany. So, just to go over it again. I don't know why we keep having to like backtrack and go over, but we're just going to do it. Somebody's reaching out to you. They're like, hey, I'm trying to talk to you. What I have in mind is, like, I want something with you, but I don't know what exactly that is, but I feel connected with you, and so I'm reaching out to see, like, what's up, you know? Like, so somebody's making the move to do that, okay? They're like, I feel like something's going on here. I want to figure it out. So they're stating their intentions. I'm seeing somebody being very, very open. Like, I'm not seeing them holding back. They're kind of like laying it all out on the table. And then the two of you, like now that you're informed as to what's going on, like now that this person has told you, you guys move very quickly into a space where you find out, okay? So this is like the finding out that's happening. So now whatever this was before where y'all are like, what's going on here? Why are we here together? Like, why are we bumping into each other here in this space? You move very quickly. This is like you find out faster than I suppose people would normally find out. Something about this process moves very quickly and you go straight into this moment of finding out what it is between the two of you guys, okay? So it's very clear immediately. I'm seeing like a clear answer. This is not a situation where it's like, I don't know, how do you feel? I don't know, how do you feel? I don't know, how do you feel? Like, you know those situations where it's like, I don't even know what's going on here. This feels very confusing. That's not what's going on here. This is something that's just very clear. There's precision here with a sense of understanding, informing, communication. Everybody knows what's happening, okay? So everybody's on the same page is what I'm seeing. And it happens very quickly, okay? I'm not seeing the time from the person reaching out be very long before you get to this point where both of you guys are in the know about whatever this is, what's happening between the two of you, okay? Mm. 
I am seeing the Six of Cups. I want to wait and see if it see if it pops out before we go saying anything about that. You may this person may feel familiar to you, okay? We can maybe leave it at that for now. Ah, here it is again, the high priestess. So somebody may have just had like an intuitive knowing. This feels like something that someone feels deeply from within, maybe in a way that's like inexplicable. It's like felt, but maybe difficult to logically explain. Also too, going from the Ace of Swords to then the, um, I almost said the Empress, the word Nightingale is coming through. So to go from the Ace of Swords to the High Priestess, this can be like you guys both know what's up. So both of you guys are on the same page, right? There's this moment, this breakthrough moment where you're both informed as to what's going on, okay? Having the High Priestess means that you guys may keep this to yourself. You may not go around telling other people about this. High Priestess is like minding your business, but because both of you guys are involved, you both might be minding your business here. You may not tell anybody that this person messaged you. This may be something that you're kind of keeping on the DL, like you're being private about this. Like, I get this feeling like this person will let you know how they're feeling and their intention, but like other people around them may not know. This may be, like, I want to make a very clear distinction here. They will let you know what's going on with them. They may not tell other people what's going on. This may be somebody very private. Like, they keep the things that they want and the things that they care about and maybe the things that they're emotionally involved with to themselves. This is not a tell-all sort of person, okay? This is somebody that cares about their privacy. They may have reasons why they need to be private. I feel like this energy also came up either, it'll be in either like yesterday's, one of yesterday's readings or one of, another one of today's readings. Something coming up about somebody being very private. So anyway, whatever truth or conclusion this is that you get to, I'm not seeing a bunch of people know. I'm seeing it just be like kept between the two of you for some reason or at least for now. Like this isn't something being amplified or announced. Ooh, but that may cause tension for some reason actually. Hmm. Okay. I want to see a couple more cards before we jump to conclusions here, but something that somebody knows, somebody may have information that leads to there being conflict or tension. This may be something socially because I'm seeing the three of cups here, but again, I don't want to jump to conclusions yet. But somebody may know something that creates a disruption socially for some reason. I think that the the thing about being private was like this energy came through in one of yesterday's readings. I don't think it was one of today's. I mean, the Ace of Cups is here. So this means that there's a genuine connection, but something about needing to be private or like maybe somebody being like secretive or discreet, I'm seeing it create tension. Like for some reason, something connected with the high priestess is some sort of issue. This can be also about the way that somebody is too. Like there may be reason for somebody to be discreet or particular and that may be an issue but it could be an issue with somebody's friends as well like say you're connecting with somebody and like everything's great between the two of you but then something going on in one of the people's lives it ends up being is an issue with the other person's friends so like in a social way there's some sort of issue 
Okay, I want to get further. I feel like this is getting very windy here. I'm seeing this is something that will be able to be overcome. It's just about like remaining grounded and like seemingly calm through this. Also, like somebody may feel a bit righteous within a situation and that's going to need to be let go of. It seems like something may need to be compromised upon. We have three of the four aces here. We have the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Cups, and the Ace of Swords. This feels like a very, very clear, like there is an opportunity here. Like there is a connection here, like undoubtedly. This is like a rare, genuine connection that you would feel with this person. But again, there can be an issue with someone's friend group or something like that. Or it can be about a social setting too. Hmm. Okay, so it's like this, right? If you connect with somebody and you or this other person has something going on that they need to end, that may be why some of this secrecy is here potentially. Like somebody may still be connected with something that they need to end in order for this to fully happen. Even though, like, I'm not seeing anything malicious or I'm not seeing anything sneaky, but I'm definitely getting a discreet energy. And to also have this Ten of Swords here, it seems like one thing needs to end for another thing to begin. And if the thing that needs to end doesn't come to an end, then this new opportunity is going to be the thing that comes to an end. But this may give somebody reason to actually end something. Because to have the sun after the Ten of Swords, Ten of Swords can be something that's like long overdue and really needed to come to an end and it was inevitable, although, albeit painfully, okay, some sort of experience here. But then having the sun after, this is like, you go through sort of like a dark night of the soul when it comes to a cycle coming to an end, but then the next day you wake up and the sun is like shining on your face and you feel relieved and optimistic and you like get your energy back again. I will say this too. It looks like the person that sent the message knew about something coming to an end. And so they may have waited to, to say that they had feelings, even though they wanted to. So it's like this. Okay, somebody sees you, right? And they really want to reach out to you, but they see that you have your own stuff going on. So they may have, like, on the low, like, secretly been waiting to see maybe if you broke up with somebody and then they're coming through and like although they wanted to tell you beforehand because I'm seeing somebody like really wants badly to connect with you like they've been wanted to connect with you okay they felt conflicted about saying something only because they needed to wait for something else to come to an end They wanted something to come to an end so they could have a chance with you, is what I'm seeing. Because they feel this, like, a very obvious connection with you. 
and wanting to connect with you. Also, to have the Three of Cups here, this can be a reconnection actually that happens or it would feel sort of like a homecoming with this person in a way. I'm going to get a couple more cards and see. I'm seeing there be relief and happiness after something comes to an end. And this would have been something that needed needed to come to an end. This is something that wasn't supposed to carry on. So it does seem like there are a lot of like interplaying storylines that are happening here. So something ends, someone feels really happy. Wow, we have the Two of Cups here too. How about that? Someone is like very confident that you are their Two of Cups or you feel very confident that someone is your Two of Cups. This is like, it may even feel like confirmation, like something came to an end that one was maybe like secretly hoping would come to an end but maybe didn't want to interject themselves. Somebody may have sort of been like staying on the sidelines to see what was going to happen with this situation. So I'm getting that this would feel... I'm getting this person didn't want to intervene, okay? Something has come to an end. At least they didn't intervene in a blatant way. Something has come to an end and I'm seeing somebody feel very, very happy about that, okay? Someone even feels like this confirms something to them where they're like, oh, I do have a right to be confident within this situation. I'm like actually really confident that we belong together somebody's like very very sure here okay and it seems like this ending like proved that this is what I'm getting I'm seeing this also gives you the opportunity now to like work things out with this person okay yeah how about that it looks like it's going to be a balanced connection too. So I don't know how this is actually going to play out, but from somebody's perspective, this is going to be an ideal situation where like you and this person are like a perfect match and they also are fairly confident that you share the same values as well. So I'm seeing somebody come through and want to reach out to another person, okay? I'm seeing that somebody knows, but they may not have said that they knew about an ending. So I don't know if it's the person coming through that like low-key knew that you just went through an ending with somebody. Or it's you're receiving a message from someone and you're like, it's about time and you know that they just went through an ending and they're reaching out. I hope that's not confusing. Somebody is reaching out and somebody also knows, knows that an ending happened, which one may have been waiting for and guessing and assuming or sort of like predicting that this was going to happen, but one may not have said that. Because High Priestess is, like, not going to tell people what they know. And I'm seeing it be connected with somebody going through the ending of a cycle, okay? That may not be an easy one, okay? So it may also be more socially acceptable not to bring it up unless the person that actually went through it is the one bringing it up. But I'm seeing, like, this person that's known about this ending, they have been wanting it to happen even though they partly felt conflicted about wanting it to happen because I'm seeing this person be like, I'm not trying to like wish an ending on this person's relationship but at the same time I feel like there's something going on between us and I feel like we have chemistry and I feel like we have a connection. So like somebody wanted that ending to happen. They felt conflicted about it because again, they want this person to do their own thing, but at the same time, they're like, I feel like something's supposed to happen between us. There's a connection here. I feel like something's going on. And they've just been like waiting to hang out with you. They've been waiting to connect with you. This person also feels like they're in 
a really great position as well. So it seems like there is going to be a connection that happens. And then you guys move very, very quickly. This, I see this as being a symbol of there being definitely like an element of attraction here. Definitely an element of attraction. Like somebody finds another person very, very appealing, alluring, magnetic, beautiful, handsome, whatever it is. And then moving very quickly, it looks like the hangout happens, right? Or like the reconnecting happens or the converging happens, whatever this is where there's like, finally, we're here face-to-face -face interacting with one another or like having this communication, okay? And I'm seeing things move very quickly into the Ace of Cups. So this may actually be like a very quick bounce back. Like somebody goes through an ending and there's like a very quick turnaround to connecting with another person. And look, it's like, wow, the Two of Cups is here already. It just like arrived immediately. And Ace of Swords is like a breakthrough moment where there's been like a realization of like, oh, that's what I've been looking for. Like, this makes a lot of sense to me. I don't feel like things are unclear. I feel like everything's sort of out on the table. And this is an opportunity to find reciprocity. And it also seems like an opportunity that you have to connect with someone where there's like a genuine sense of love and connection. There's like definitely something mutually felt. Like, these two people definitely in a space where they, like, can't keep their eyes off of one another. It feels very clear, so there's not really any confusion about the connection, and it's an opportunity to connect with somebody where you feel like there's reciprocity, where you feel like you have shared values, compatible values. So this is an opportunity, at the very least, to connect with someone that you have a genuine connection with, and things feel like they're clear on both ends. Looking at the sun, Gemini, the moon. All right, my friends, we are going to leave the reading here. I would like to thank everybody for tuning in. Thank you for connecting. I'm wishing everybody love and light and healing, and I hope to catch you guys next time.